Instead of with K-pop or goals, thanks so much for your support and sending over your questions. So we are going to do a little Dong Hei reading today, or our love reading update today. And apologies for not showing my face. I have really bad allergies, so I'm like, yeah, like a little groggy at the moment. So, um, so today we're gonna ask, yeah. So it's a love reading update for Dong Hei of Super Junior. We're gonna ask the cards, you know, what does he look for? Or what are some physical features he tends to gravitate towards? What is he looking for right now? And what are some things he's trying to avoid at the moment, okay? So let's dive right in. Let's start with the physical features. What is he drawn to physically? Okay, we got older than you. Okay, this can mean a few things. It can mean that he's drawn to people who, like, you know, literally older than him. Like, maybe by a few years, or just those who are wise beyond their years. That's what I'm getting. What is Dong Hei into? We got a woman, okay. Self-explanatory. What else? Oops. What is Dong Hei into? Green eyes. Okay, maybe he might have a thing for green eyes. All right, let's pull some cards from this deck. What is Dong Hei into? Freckles, <laughs> okay, interesting. Looks maybe he might be into freckles. Average weight, okay. What else, one more card. So, nothing like, it's like, you know, like Goldilocks. Nothing too extreme, just average. What is Zhang He into? Tall. Okay, he might like them tall. Either taller than him or just tall. <laughs> For their, I don't know. Um, anyway, so let's get a sense of what he's looking for at this moment. What is what is Dong He looking for right now when it comes to love? Five of Swords. Five of Swords. The Five of Swords can be a very difficult card, or really, this energy is very tough. It's very difficult. It can mean conflicts, um, stress, endings, fights, or whatever. I just think he, but on a positive side though, um, this is someone who, yeah, like, like the Five of Swords rep usually represents someone who's able to walk away from these difficult situations, who has no time for this, you know, it's not going to dwell on it, we'll just, this person, yeah, we'll just move on. So he's looking for someone who is basically drama free, conflict free, doesn't want someone who's going to like pick, start fights with him, um, you know, knows how to walk away from these tough situations. <clears throat> What else? What is he looking for at this moment? Four of Cups. Four of Cups. Okay, I, I feel like he, okay, so he doesn't want someone who's just gonna sit around and just like wait for things to come to him. Like, he's gonna want someone who is active, you know, like really goes out and get what they want like not someone who's just gonna sit around do nothing be bored all the time or just apathetic
Oh, this one popped out. We got the moon. He doesn't mind a little mystery. A little, um, yeah. Like, he, he would want something that will get him guessing, get him thinking about things, so. Interesting, okay. Sensitive souls, I think he likes. We got the King of Swords. He does like independence. He likes someone who's strong and just stands up for themselves, but also is very intelligent and, um, you know, I guess witty and um, not a pushover. He, has, he, I think he's looking for someone who's strong, strong and assertive. With the Knight of Pentacles or Knight of Coins, he wants. I guess when it comes to love, he he doesn't like it things to be rushed. He wants to take things slow. He's a or he's a type that likes to take things slow. He doesn't want. He really wants to spend a lot of time getting to know the person, and their likes, their dislikes, their baggage, all that jazz, their past. Um, you know what their hopes and dreams are that sort of deal like he's I feel like he's a very cautious person so it really takes him a bit to open up to others we got the nine of cups at the bottom of the deck I think he's really hoping for somebody at this time like he's really hoping for the right person to come along this is a card that represents a wish fulfillment so he's really wishing for something to happen he's wishing for the right person to come and um yeah he just, he just wants someone who is overall just happy with themselves and or who can brighten up his his life or his you know that sort of deal who he can learn from we got saturn Saturn, 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 Saturn. So Capricorn is one of the zodiac signs associated with Saturn. So he likes, he's looking for structure. He's looking for discipline. He's looking for, um, he, he's, he's really attracted to those who are very ambitious and know what they want. Like he, he wants someone who will push him, who will challenge him, someone who, who he can learn a lot from. Third house, third house, third house is associated with the zodiac sign Gemini. So communication is very important to him. He likes, he, I, I guess that to him, the mind is something that is sexy. Like it's not just about physical aspects. It's who can get him to think of, like who can like get him to think about things, to question things, to be you know, phil phil uh, to be philosophical, you know, and um, I feel like for him, like, I'm not sure if he's he's gone to, he ever gone to college or not, like, one day he would have, like, I, I feel like low-key, he, he wants to go to, like, school one day, or w wants someone who I feel is not, like, um... You know, just like a, a like a normal everyday person, someone who is educated, um, has little quirks. What else? What is it down here looking for right now? Okay, the scarab beetle, the scarab. Um, I feel like just someone who has a general interest in the arts. He likes creative folks. He likes art. He likes mu he, he, Obviously, he loves music because he's an idol and dancing. Just someone who has a talent. Oh 
shoot, all <laughs> these cards fell. <laughs> oh, Jesus. They're so slippery. We got the hound. The hound. The hound dog is... You know, they're known for like being really smart and like checking down criminals or like, you know, for clues, that sort of deal. Like they work a lot with like cops and law enforcement. Like they're really good at finding things, hunting, th hunting things down. So I think he's someone who likes to chase or it could be the other round or just he likes the pursuit. <laughs> All right, so what is he trying to avoid right now? What is Donghae trying to avoid right now? Okay, we got instinctual bliss. Okay. Loving and trusting yourself. Okay, so I like this little R-rated <laughs> artwork right now. Okay, instinctual bliss. Loving and trusting yourself. Okay, I guess a flip side to this card, loving and trusting yourself. I don't, I think he's trying to avoid someone who's narcissistic. Instinctual bliss. Um, hmm, let me clarify this real quick. Please clarify instinctual bliss. What did, mean, what did I mean by that? <laughs> oh, okay. Five of coins, which is basically a card of sadness, feeling left out. Okay. I think overall he just wants a happy connection, uh, someone who will bring him joy. He doesn't want someone who's just doom and gloom and just will leave him out in the cold and, and you know, ghost him, that sort of deal. What else? What is he trying to avoid? When it comes to matter to the heart. Sexual arts. <laughs> okay. Um, that can mean like porn, <laughs> sexual arts, I guess. I don't know. Maybe he's just, he's just not, he, I feel like when it comes to, you know, freaky deaky things, I think he would want things to be behind closed doors. He doesn't want like a camera in front of him or just like a hidden camera so, somewhere capturing his every move. <laughs> so I think he wants someone who's... I guess on the conserv a little on the conservative side when it comes to, you know, SEX. Um, not someone who's just like hella wild and kinky, that sort of deal. Okay, there's a little TMI. What else? <laughs> what is Dong Hei trying to avoid? Salty, salty, yeah. Okay, it says sudden change of mood, feeling some someone did you wrong, upset, bitter, annoyed, jealous. Oh, okay. These really aggressive types he wants to avoid. He, he seems like a softy, so he doesn't want someone who's going to be hella, like, salty, okay? He's a soft, he's a softy that doesn't want someone who's salty, <laughs> okay? Um, no, so he doesn't want, like, someone who's, like, batshit crazy. So that's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please remember to hit that like and subscribe. Okay, I'm fumbling with my words. Like and subscribe button. And you can follow me on Twitter at Kpop Oracle Plus Ones. And yeah, thanks again. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.